Hello and welcome back to the Yamanote. Alex here with a short tutorial about how to use your Suiki Dancer Go 100 controller for the Nintendo Switch with the JRE Train Simulator. Now, the JRE Train Simulator was recently released and you can check some of the videos that i done on it here on the channel. And by the way, thank you so much, guys, for your support to the channel. And one of the main flaws of the game is that it only allows limit compatibility with Xbox type controllers and with none of the Densha Go or other train controllers. But now, thanks to a tool developed by Saha209, we are going to be able to use the Suiki 100 controller with the game and allow you to enjoy the game to the fullest. So let's go to part 5. Now the setup is really easy. You just need to download the tool and you'll find the link here in the description of the video. And once you have it, you just need to unzip it and you'll find a um, folder with a couple of example images and executable, uh, also a readme in Japanese and a library. And very important, you want to keep the executable and that library in the same folder for order in order for it to work. Uh, also, one previous thing that you need to do on Steam is disable the use of switch controllers. So now what you do is plug your Suiki controller into your PC, run the app, and inside of the app, you want to select uh, next to the controller the Suiki controller that is the CKNS001. Once you have it selected, you press the button on the top left and that's it, you have it running. Now you go to Steam, run the game. Time now for a little test run and also for talking about things that you need to be careful about when running uh, this tool. So let's select, uh, let's go with the Tokaido line with the E233 series as the one handle controller is exactly the one that is used on the E233 series. And very important, at the beginning, you need to put the controller on emergency brakes and from there you can go back and this is very important to synchronize the controller with the game to put it on emergency brakes just at the beginning and now as you can see the controller is perfectly responding but doors are closing now all the doors are closed save to the part now Shupat Shinko the part to clear we are departing Tokyo Station and we have a 45 speed limit. And yeah, you need to remember that this tool is not officially developed by Ongakukan, the developers of the game, nor is supported, uh, officially supported, that is, by Ongakukan, is instead uh, developed by a fan, by Saha209. <laughs> end of the speed limit zone incoming as we get a green light and that means well and we have a 60 speed limit now and that means that you can encounter sometimes uh problems when running the app just as we enter the end of the speed limit zone like for instance when you over the speed limit and the ats is triggered sometimes i had problems with that, uh, with the game even crashing because of that, because probably the game has trouble, green light and 80 speed limit, the game has trouble recognizing the position that the controller should be and the position that the physical controller is telling the game to be. So green light, that's something to consider. Other than that, the game plays fantastic with the controller, as you can see. Uh, there's no problem at all, the responsiveness is perfect. One thing also that you need to consider as we get a 70 speed limit is that the emulation relay signal clear of the, not emulation, the use of the face buttons is 
a bit spotty and even the developer tells you that it's better to for instance for the horn to use the keyboard instead of the face buttons of the controller so that's also that you need to consider that it's better to use the controller just for the mask on that is for the braking and throttle but as you can see works perfectly other thing the new controller that was recently introduced the new version the translucent version the skeletal controller um is not uh it has problems with the recognition because it has a different id i don't know if that has been corrected by now because i only have the original swiki dengo controller but bear that in mind too other than that as you can see game plays beautifully with the controller this is the way the game was meant to be played also uh, the controller is able to support the legendary master controller for train simulator the master controller 2 for train simulator unfortunately my computer doesn't have the port required to use this controller i only use this one with the playstation 2 but yeah if you have the kind of port this controller requires you can also use it and i guess that using it with the 211 series must be wow mind-blowing but yeah that's it uh, if you have any more questions please down below in the comments i'll try to answer all of them remember i'm not the developer of this tool is the developer is saha 209 and until the next time thank you for traveling with the yamanote and have a nice rest of your trip bye